Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, you know, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and today, uh, this this bill will really uh, bring uh, a sense of relief to many people, knowing that they will be able to bring civil action going forward. I want to thank the bill sponsors for their advocacy, for their efforts for justice on behalf of survivors. I want to thank Representative Michelson Janae, Representative Soper, Senator Danielson, Gonzalez, and Coram. Uh, and, you know, today we want to show that this history uh, will not be repeated. Uh, to all the survivors and advocates who've worked tirelessly, uh, I'm really uh, proud to be here when this day has come. And uh, there's no place but for there's no place for red tape between survivors and healing in Colorado. And this bill will help remove certain statutes of limitation, making sure the laws in our books reflect our commitment to carrying out swift justice. Uh, well, we know that this bill, of course, will not repel all the harm that many survivors have endured in their lives. We know that it will provide hope and solace uh, moving forward. And by signing this uh, bill today, we're going to take its real action to deliver justice for survivors, to really allow a longer time frame for people to be able to be comfortable uh, with their actions and begin to restore trust in the system uh, as well. So with that, I'll turn it over to uh, Representative Michaels and Jeanette. Thank you, um, Mr. Governor. It is uh, quite a day for us to be joining together. I know that there have been at the least 30 years of work put into making this day a reality. And last year, when we thought we were gonna cross the finish line and we didn't cross the finish line. And I got a call from Senator Danielson like that night wanting to know exactly what happened because she was gonna make sure we finished the, cross the finish line this year. I just wanna recognize that without Senator Danielson's advocacy, um, we may or may not um, be, have been able to be here today. So thank you to the governor for signing this incredible bill. Thank you to all of the survivors who have come forward and always a special thank you to Senator Danielson for closing the deal. I'll toss it over to you, Senator Danielson. Thank you, Representative Michelson Janae. Um, thank you, Governor Polis and um, Representative Soper, Senator Coram, if you're on. Um, but mostly to this amazing group of survivors and, and wonderful organizations that I see on my screen in front of me. Um, you've done an amazing thing here and it's taken you decades. I only wish we would have gotten it done sooner for you and for the future. So um, it's, a, it's a very, very good day. It's a very, very happy thing that we're celebrating together. Um, and I wanted to say thank you for letting me be part of it. Representative Michael Sinjane is right. I, um, I got involved when last year's efforts failed. Um, and it has been my privilege and my honor to interact with every single one of you. Um, I cannot thank you enough for letting me be part of it, but really for, um, for everything you've done. You have been expected to come to this building for 20, 30 years now. You've been expected to tell your stories over and over and over again so that hopefully the legislature would respond and prevent this kind of thing from happening to future victims and survivors. So you have my, my undying gratitude and your efforts have made a real difference for now and for the future. And I wanna say a special thanks to uh, CICASA, um, Larry and Bree and the team, but um, in particular, uh, Ronna Simmons, um, an, an amazing, uh, outstanding professional who is dedicated and um, you know so amazing and wonderful and just did a fantastic job and I got to work with her every day so you know great job everybody uh, thank you for this and um, let's make it a law thank you Senator Danielson Rep Representative Soper well thank you Governor and I uh, apologize for the delay it's technical but um, you know, this is a great day and I'm super excited to see this bill signed into law. I was part of the effort last year and this is really a longer journey. It's a 30 year journey to be able to get this signed into law with uh, your signature today. To be able to have someone who's experienced horrific rape or sexual assault, the ability to make their case in court when they're ready to tell their story is 
is truly what justice is about. One thing I would rather have is for an attorney to tell a client, I'm sorry, you don't have enough evidence rather than saying you have an abundance of evidence, but the statute of limitations has expired. So this is about uh, being able to tell your story when you're ready. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this into law. This is a historic day and great to see so many people online here. Thank you, Governor. Great. I, I also want to introduce Jeb Barrett, a survivor and Colorado chapter leader of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests or SNAP. Jeb? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Governor Polis. I, I, I need to recall the telephone call I had from Representative Danielson shortly after 1296 was pulled. And that was a wonderful, hopeful thing, hearing your commitment uh, to to doing something this year. Uh, I've been the, uh, the, the leader of the Denver chapter since I moved to Colorado in 2005. And for more than 30 years, adult survivors of child sexual assault have been working for the kind of hope for generations of victims of betrayal by adults represented in this bill. Uh, SNAP has offered support and healing to adult survivors and advocated for protection of children in Colorado for over for decades. The signing of this bill today is a milestone signifying that our elected officials are taking seriously the public health crisis that has been covered up for far too long, the lifelong trauma of rape. The strong bipartisan support of this bill and what it means for future generations is a hopeful sign that our state is committing itself to justice and healing for victims of sexual manipulation and assault. Today, we face both the tragic human cost and the enormous economic costs that all levels of government bear as fallout from the trauma of childhood or sexual assault period, physical and mental health disorders, alcohol and drug abuse, suicides, domestic violence, workplace performance and incarceration rates. As a victim survivor of serial sexual assault as a child and young man, I'm thankful to all who are responding to the cries for justice from others like me and from countless advocates for legislative reform in both houses on both sides of the political aisle. And to you, Governor Polis, for giving us the hope for continuing responsibility to those seeking justice and needing protection from these crimes against humanity crimes that rob victims of their innocence and hope for a better future. So on behalf of SNAP, the Survivors Network of Those Views by Priests, I thank everyone for this day in Colorado history. We are blessed. Thank you. We also have Jill Brogdon with us, a survivor and co-chair of the Colorado Human Trafficking Council. Jill? Governor Polis, and good afternoon to the bill sponsors and members of the community. I am a survivor of child sex trafficking by a Denver public schools teacher in the 1970s from age 12 to 18. I'd like to begin today by thanking you, Governor Polis, for signing this bill into law. I would also like to thank Senate Bill 73 sponsors, Senator Corum, Senator Danielson, Representative Michelson Janae and Representative Soper. With a special thank you to Rep Wiseman and Sikasa Policy Director Rana Simmons. Without your heavy lifting and determination to make sure this bill was passed, none of us would be here today. I am forever grateful. Governor Polis, my trafficker understood the significance of the statute of limitations, but I did not. He threatened me to keep quiet for at least 10 years after I turned 18 in order to protect himself, knowing that there was a statute of limitations that prevented me from taking any legal action. It worked. I, it wasn't until 1993, 13 years after I turned 18, that he contacted me at my job and threatened me once again. In response to this threat, I found the courage to write to the Denver Public Schools Administration in detail the trafficking experience. As a result, my trafficker received early retirement and I received nothing. 
Each time I attempted to get services to help myself recover, I was turned away because the statute of limitations had expired. I had no police report to prove that I was a victim. And I paid for every bit of my self-care, including extensive therapy and medical bills out of my own pocket. Governor Polis, by signing this bill into law today, you are sending a clear message to perpetrators that their time is up and they can no longer threaten their victims and prevent them from finding justice because of an arbitrary, arbitrary time frame that does nothing to protect victims and everything to protect perpetrators. I will not personally benefit financially from the signing of this bill, but I can assure you that it is the greatest victory of my life, knowing that 28 years after I began to seek justice, no other victim of sexual assault will ever hear the words, I'm sorry, the statute of limitations has expired and you can no longer seek justice. Thank you to everyone who carried this bill over the finish line. And thank you for the opportunity to participate in this process. Thank you, Jill, and it's certainly uh, my hope that um, those who don't find um, immediate relief in this bill, like yourself and many others, uh, see it as an important part of that healing, knowing that this will not be in this, others will not be in the same situation that you were in uh, going forward. Okay, with that, we'll make it the law of Colorado. It's now officially the law of the state of Colorado. Thank you for all your work uh, on this amazing bill. Uh, we have another bill here to sign. Um, this is um, really about making sure that uh, when, some, when someone serves their time and, and, and uh, they should be able to help our, our firefighters on the front lines. It advances the work started by the recent passage of criminal justice reform uh, with longer, drier, uh, summers, uh, we need all the help we can get. We saw the three largest forest fires in the history of our state, and people who are formally convicted should absolutely be able to give back and protect the rest of us as firefighters. Um, and when they pay their time and serve their time, uh, the ability to improve our ability to fight fires across the state is a win-win. I want to thank Representative Roberts, uh, Senator Donovan for their foresight and commitment, and I'll turn it over to Representative Roberts. Thank you, Mr. Governor, and thank you everybody for joining today, and thank you for signing this bill into law. I'm very excited about this one and, and want to thank Senator Donovan for her leadership on this and getting this bill started in the Senate and made my job easy carrying it through the House. But this is a great bill for uh, fighting wildfire, which we know is going to continue to be a problem in our state, especially in our mountain communities that I represent. But it's also a great bill for criminal justice reform and reducing recidivism by giving these inmates who have trained and worked so hard to fight fires for all of us while they're incarcerated. Now they can get these high quality jobs in our communities once they are released. So this is a win-win bill. It's very exciting. And I am so thankful for the partnership with the Department of Corrections, the Department of Public Safety, organizations like Justice Reskill and so many others who have helped bring this bill uh, to reality. So thanks for your signature today, Governor. This is a great day for Colorado. Thank you. And our uh, the Executive Director of the Department of, of Corrections, Dean Williams, will speak. Thanks, to you. Governor. And uh, Representative Roberts and Senator uh, Donovan, thank you for your sponsorship of this bill. It is an important step. This is really the hallmark effort uh, around as the Executive Director around uh, getting people out of prison uh, into productive uh, careers. And this is a really a step in the right direction on that road. And I just want to thank you for your vision of that, Governor. Thank you for your support. And uh, I know that part of this bill allows for an opportunity to sort of discuss, like, what's the next thing we should do? And uh, I really look forward to that effort as well, uh, Representative Roberts, as we go down this road. This is such the right thing to do for so any reasons, amongst other things, fighting fires and, and other efforts around that, but also about giving dignity back in people's lives or getting out of prison and having a job and having a, a, a trajectory for a job when they get out. So thank you so very much for all your efforts on that. And Governor, thank you for your support for this effort. Thank you. We also have Megan Ives from Justice Reskill. Megan. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Um, I'm here with Justice Reskill and joined by our founder and CEO, Aaron Clark. Um, we, we got involved with this bill because it was the right thing to do. 
pretty simply. Our mission is to improve the livelihood of justice involved folks across the state of Colorado and the state wildland inmate firefighting team has provided thousands of hours of heroic work fighting Colorado fires um, with employment identified as the number one predictor of recidivism. We really applaud the Colorado legislature and wanna thank Representative Roberts and Senator Donovan um, for passing this critical measure to reduce barriers and improve opportunities for these incredibly deserving SWIFT graduates. Um, so thank you again to the sponsors. Thank you, Governor Polis, and to the many stakeholders that helped identify this need and support this process. Without further ado, we're gonna make it official here. It's officially the law of the state of Colorado. Congratulations and thank you. We will all benefit from this bill. And I wanna thank everybody for joining us today for these two important bill signings. Take care.